Hello friends, today is a fun and fast episode where I'm going to be taking some supplies from the Dollar Tree and creating this really whimsical darling Easter sign. I love making projects like this because you get a big bang for a very small budget. Now don't forget I have a fun and fast episode playlist. I will link that at the end of this video and down below in the description box so you can check out past fun and fast episodes. Now over at my Dollar Tree, I saw that they had these wooden eggs. They've actually bumped up the amount of them in the pack. There were 10 this year, and then they have a whole bunch of these pots. So I picked up six of these pots as well as the Easter pack. And for our project today, our supplies are gonna be these six terracotta pots, the word Easter from their wooden letters at the Dollar Tree craft section, six popsicle sticks, as well as some foam, and then six of these eggs that we're going to be using and we'll be having some pattern paper on top of them. But you're gonna keep a seventh one so that you can use it to trace onto that pattern paper and get the exact size we need. Once you have all your supplies collected, go ahead and take those popsicle sticks and the six eggs and glue the stick onto the bottom center of the egg. Once those are glued all together, Get your foam squares and you're going to cut them down so that they fit nice and snug inside of those terracotta pots. I like to add a little bit of glue on the side so it sticks to the pot and then a little bit on the top so we can stick those eggs down inside that foam. Make sure your eggs are all at the same height so play around with them before the glue dries. And then once it is dry, take some white paint and go ahead and paint the egg, the stick of the popsicle stick the inside of the pot rim, and the outside of the pot rim. I just use a smaller brush on that rim and I just take my time going around making sure I have a nice clean line. Then you're also going to paint your letters Easter the color white. Once everything has been painted, we now can move on to our pattern paper. So we're gonna need six different pattern papers and my tip that I like to do with my pattern paper whenever I'm working with smaller things I'm tracing, I always like to trace the shape first. I like to stick in a corner and then I try to cut a nice clean straight line so that it's easy to store this extra piece that I'm not going to be using and it doesn't get all crazy in your paper bins. Once you've got that egg cut out with you tracing it around with the wooden egg, go ahead and continue to move on to all the other colors until you have everything cut out. Now we're gonna take our hot glue, and you could use adhesive on this, but I just feel like the hot glue is much more cost efficient with this one. And we're gonna go ahead and just put that on and use a popsicle stick before it starts to dry and just smooth it out underneath that pattern paper. Now we're gonna take some scissors and we are just gonna rough up that edge. The size of the paper already fits on the egg, but I love how it brings out that white undertone on the paper and makes it look more farmhouse. Then go ahead and take your letters and glue them on and make sure you get your pattern paper in the colors that you want in the order you want so that you don't later on accidentally glue the wrong letter to the wrong egg pattern paper. So I like to figure out which pattern in order I want them to be for my sign. Now go ahead and take some more hot glue and put that all over the inside of your pot and add on some of your Spanish moss. And then I took some of this really cute white ribbon in the ribbon section at the Dollar Tree and I just tied a simple little bow, putting that at the bottom of the egg. And then again, I say it on here a lot on my channel, I love buttons, especially at springtime. I don't know why I love buttons so much, but I think it reminds me of my grandma. My grandma had a big tin of all these buttons and so did my mom. My mom had a big mason jar. So I'm gonna use these teeny tiny buttons. You can get these at Joanne's Craft Store. I went ahead and just put that right in the center of the bow. And now I'm gonna get a very dry brush of brown and I'm just gonna help enhance those letters a little bit more so that they really stand out. And this is our finished look of the project. I hope you enjoyed this one today. I loved making this. It was such a quick project and so impactful on a mantle, on a kitchen counter, wherever you might wanna put this. Don't forget the playlist that's linked right here at the end and down below in the description box. And check out this other video as well. You might like it. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. And until the next episode, bye friends.